Hi there, it's Michelle here and I hope you're having a really good day. Um, someone in our Facebook group that is going to remain anonymous sent me a message asking this question and, and I, po I, about, I posted it today or in this, uh, on this video and then I thought I'm gonna hop on and do a video about it. So here's her question. I think it's so interesting and I want you to comment and, and I'd love to get your opinion on it. Here's the question, she says, don't you think that an empath with an eating disorder can't fully develop her skills because of her bad relationship with food does not enable her to concentrate on matters that have to go with the soul, with the feelings, with the spirit? And I think that's so interesting. What do you guys think? I, this just stirred me up when she sent it to me that I, I'm just chomping at the bit to talk about it And I'm just gonna tell you what I think. Hopefully I don't ruffle anyone's feathers We we're human right we are human beings we all have stuff eating disorders relationship issues health issues I Don't think that should be the thing that stops us from developing our abilities can you develop it fully? I'm not sure about that. I think the eating disorder, and I'm putting this like this because it's the symptom, right? It's the physical thing that's showing up in someone's life. It's just the surface piece. And going in and doing the inner work to address that, so the eating disorder is the doorway to heal something. Like this is the presenting issue that's the doorway. Then you can go in, and that is a spiritual journey. So addressing um, an eating disorder, anything, relationship, money issues, health issues, you can focus, you can work on any part of your life, and that is a spiritual journey that's going to open you up and fully develop you into your feelings, that addresses your spirit, your connect with your spirit. So that's one way. And then the other way I want to shift gears, let's not have anything that we think is wrong with us, which I know it feels real and it is real, but don't let that be the thing that stops you from doing something you want to do. Like, oh, I have this disorder, so I probably shouldn't develop my abilities yet. That's just, that's not a good idea. In fact, I wouldn't, none of us would be where we are. Like, in order to thrive and grow, we gotta thrive and grow with all the stuff that we have, right? Don't let, don't let your issues stop you from doing things. I, I hope that makes sense. There's a lot of people that would, that know me and look at my life who would say I have an eating disorder, like I'm super sensitive to food and I'm super calculated on what I will, will eat. So I know that's probably different than what you're talking about, but I don't let that stop me from developing my abilities. If I'm struggling in a relationship, let's say with my husband, I don't let that stop me from growing. I might have to, to take a break and address this, but like it will not stop me from developing my intuition, honing my skills, because those are the things that make me excited and thrive in life. And I will not let any of my human things that don't look so great stop me from developing this. Does that make sense? That has been the best attitude for me. Because before that, when I wasn't stepping on my life path, I would use those excuses. I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too sick, I have issues I have to deal with. And that's, on a, it's not that they're excuses, but they are, they're not, they should not be the showstoppers to developing your abilities. I hope that makes sense. I can't wait to hear what other people say. And I do not want this video to be about that I'm bashing eating disorders at all. I honor and love everyone but I really believe you can still develop your abilities and have human issues like eating disorders. But I also believe that you could use the healing 
or, um, the eating disorder and let that be the doorway to heal, to connect with your spirit, to connect with your feelings, your emotions, and develop yourself. Does that make sense? And you get to choose that pathway. Okay, um, everybody comment and share because I think this could help so many of us because so many of us are like food sensitive, eating issues, um, a big one. <laughs> okay, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye.